this week, we're going to work on actually creating and uploading our first real page. Now, I've already created the page. I want you to notice that I'm in my Web 105 project. I created a new page called index.html. And it's very important to notice that index is lowercase i for index. And it's a very simple script. And you can see here, one of the things I like about Optana is if you highlight things, it will actually tell you what they do, which is really useful. So at the top, we have exclamation point doc type HTML. This tells us that we're working in the most current version of HTML, which is HTML5. Then we have our opening tag to start the actual HTML document. Then we open up our head section, which contains information about our document. Inside the head, we put the title. The title will appear in the tab of our page, and our title here is Mary's Web 105 Index Page. Or I can just do Mary's Web 105 page, Mary's Web 105 home page, Mary's Web 105. I'm going to shorten it a little here. I want it to fit nicely in a tab. So you're going to create your own index page. I close the title here, close the head, in the body, as an H1 setting, I just have Mary's Web 105 homepage. Yours should, of course, have your first name. Once you've typed in everything here, and you can pause the video and type in what we have here, then I'm going to save my file, and I'm going to preview my file. So I should see Mary's Web 105 homepage. This is great. We see that it works, but we need to get it online. Now, inside of cPanel, you're going to want to log in and go into the File Manager. And when you go into the directory selection, you'll choose the web root, which is public underscore HTML. I'm going to go there, and you'll see I've been working in here a bit. I have a lot of work done already. So I'm going to create a new folder, and my new folder is going to be Web 105. Please make sure to use all lowercase letters and no spaces. So the path to my file will be, I'm inside of public HTML, and I'm going to go to the Web 105 directory, and it's currently empty. To show you what's currently there, I'm going to go to mary.mccdgm.net web 105, and that will be the address, and you can see I tested this and deleted it. Okay, now what I just did is I refreshed this using this little symbol here, or you can hit F5 to refresh. So when there's nothing there, you're going to see the index of the Web 105 folder. So there's nothing there, but it exists. In cPanel, I can go and I can get my settings for my FTP. Now, your cPanel might be in a slightly different order than mine, but you should have a files section and you should have FTP accounts. And you should see that you should have your default account existing. So my account is Mary, and I'm going to choose Configure FTP Client. So my username is Mary. My server is ftp.mary.mccdgm.net, and those are the things that I need. Okay, let's take a quick look on setting this up here in Optana. In Optana, we're going to click on this brown file folder, which lets us manage our directory. So first, I have to select my Web 105 folder because I have multiple projects. And I'm going to run the deployment wizard, and I'm going to tell it that I'm going to use FTP, which is File Transfer Protocol, by selecting this icon right here where it says FTP, SFTP, FTPS. And I'm going to hit Next. Now, I've already done this because I was practicing. I've named it Web 105. In the site name, you're allowed to have spaces. This is just what you call it on your computer. I'm using the FTP protocol, and so I don't have to put FTP in my server. It's just mary.mccdgm.net. Yours will be your first initial and up to the first seven letters of your last name, .mccdgm.net. It's the entire, actually, I'm sorry, it will have your entire last name here. 
Your username will be your first initial, total of a maximum of eight characters. So it'll be your first initial and your last name, or up to seven characters if it's a long last name. The password is whatever you chose, and you should save it. And the remote path will be public underscore HTML forward slash web 105. And you want to hit test. It worked, so I can hit OK, and I can hit finish. Now that I have this created, I can now upload it by selecting the file I want to upload and hitting the blue arrow pointing up. Select the file, don't select the directory. Hit OK. If you select the directory, you may get an error. Parent path doesn't exist. To avoid that, just select the specific files you want to upload, and it should work just fine. Okay, now we're going to test this, and I'm going to show you a couple ways to test it. In my file manager, and I'm in my Web 105 file manager, I can hit refresh or F5, and it's going to make me go back into it. And I should see my new file today at 405. So you know what I'm working on this. Now for me to test this, I can go to the index of Web 105 and hit Refresh or F5. And you'll see I have Mary's Web 105 homepage. And my Mary's Web 105 homepage appears, or 105 appears in the tab up here. So when you hand this in to prove that you got this done for homework, your address will be your first initial and your last name complete last name, dot mccdgm.net forward slash web 105. And you should go test that, copy it, and paste it into the discussion. So that's how you upload your first index page. We'll be editing the index page continuously after we learn linking to link back to each project that we create.